And this is it. The final gym battle. Let's see if I can walk in here like a normal person instead of a drunk. Yeah, I think I succeeded pretty well. Still bad with joysticks, though. He's got his phone out, because of course he does. Was that a supposed to be a protein powder ad on the wall? That's hilarious. Finally, a challenger made it. I've been waiting for someone to battle. Though, I've got to admit, I didn't think it'd be you. Okay, thanks for the, the insult there, buddy. Uh, but I guess I should expect it no less from a Pokemon trainer that Leon saw promise in. And you aim to defeat Leon. Do you have any idea just how high a hurdle that is? He, as his greatest rival, I guess that I, Raihan, will have to show you. Gym leader Raihan doesn't simply control the weather. He also seeks two-on-two -two battles. Now, you must be prepared for any situation against a foe like him. He's talking about himself in the third person. This character is fantastic. Nice. <laughs> okay. Okay. Good. Let's do this. <sighs> and of course, the Gigalith can't have Sturdy because it has Sandstream. Let the winds blow. Stream forward, Sandstorm. I like that they call out their attacks. I like that a lot. Uh, drum beating on the Gigalith. Yeah. Ooh, that's very annoying. That is even more annoying. Please, worthwhile, please don't suck. Just for once in your life, don't suck. Please. Ugh. Get it. Ah, thank you. Thank you very much. That was less challenging than I expected. Mystic leveled up. And we get hit by a sandstorm, of course. What are his next ones? Draladon. Yeah, that's that steel dragon guy. And Sandaconda. That's the evolution of Silicobra, I'm assuming. Neato Burrito. Let's try for an earthquake. It's probably not going to happen. But let's try for it. Um, this is probably a bad idea because he's probably going to Gigantamax that Drelodon. Yeah. Bring the storm. My partner will send everyone in the stadium flying. Oh. Okay, yeah, here he goes. Took a selfie of himself. I love this guy. Yeah. Skyscape Scraper Dragon. Nice. Um, I probably should have Dynamaxed somebody. But no one's ever accused me of being smart. And I'm faster. Alright. Fun. See ya. Boom. Now what's he gonna do? Because he's definitely gonna go before Worthwhile. Because she is very paralyzed. Max Rockfall. Alright. Yep, that makes sense. And I get hit again. Alright then. Um, who has the best chance of beating this thing? Actually, Atticus has Fire Fang. This thing's steel. I could go into Giant Doggo. Use Max Flare. And then hit with uh, Brick Break with uh, Dixie? Yeah, okay, sure. It's not a perfect plan, but it's something. You could also have used Attract. You know, like how I gave Dixie Attract so that I could use Attract in situations like this one. 
and then I just I just never freaking do it. Look how big his stadium is, because it's in the giant freaking tower. Oh, that's so cool. I just looked at the background. The background is so cool looking. Look at that. Uh, very cool. That is so cool. Max Flare. Yeah, I didn't do a ton. It's fine. Uh, and I turned the sunlight harsh, which got rid of pulling out a sunny day. Ha! Huh, that's not a bad countermeasure. Which got rid of the. Oh, that did a ton. Um, I guess because yes, because I guess dragons aren't resistant to fighting, are they? Okay. Nice. I've got this. This is in the bag. Yeah, I didn't even think about that, but Max Flare makes the sun stronger, which counters his sandstorm. Let's end this. Go, giant doggo. Boom. That was fun. Not as challenging as I had hoped it would be. I had a, I had a harder time with uh, um, with the rock type gym than that one. Honestly. But still, that was fun. I like the double battle thing. I like the weather gimmick. That was all very interesting to me. Defeated Gym Leader Ryan. <laughs> I might have lost, but I still look good. Maybe I should snap a quick selfie. Look at his. Look at his Rotom. Look at his. Look at him like, ah, Ryan. Oh, this guy. <laughs> That's great. This guy just has so much personality. Glorious. In the aftermath of the furious battle, I feel as pure and refreshed as when the sky clears after a storm. He's very, very keen on the weather gimmick, isn't he? Uh, what can I possibly say? Calling myself Leon's rival, seems I'd grown quite conceited for someone who can't even claim the title of champion. Overconfident in both myself and my team. I'll give you what you want, then. The proof of your victory, the Dragon Badge. He's very tall. Yeah. Look at that. Completed amulet. I, I can catch Pokemon of any level. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, you owe me that much, at least, for beating us in battle here today. So he wants me to beat the champion. That's I like him a lot. That's cool. Uh, at last, it's time for the champion cup. I look forward to seeing how well you do in battle. Hey, hero. Uh, sorry to hold you up, uh, but there was something I forgot. First off, as a sign of respect, here, TM99. It contains the move Breaking Swipe. I actually don't even know what that does. And let's find out. Uh, user, user swing is its tough tail wildly and attacks the opposing Pokemon also lowers their attack stats. Okay, neat. And secondly, here's the dragon type gym uniform. The mark of true strength. Alright. I actually like this uniform a lot. It's pretty cool. Number 22, a challenger hero. You've completed the gym challenge. Yeah! Yeah, I did. Uh, good on you, kid. Now prove your strength at all region at the Champion Cup. I intend to do that. Raihan! I'm here to see just how good you are. Uh, there you are, Leon's little brother. Don't worry. I'll give you a battle that'll make you want to quit the gym challenge altogether. Now, nah, Hop, you got this. It's fine. I've tried out lots of different strategies, and I've made up my mind about how I want to battle. I'm not going to lose. I'm going to beat you, and Hero, and even me. No, you're not. I'll see you, Hero. Let's have another epic battle someday. If you're feeling up to it, you might want to go train hard in the wild area. Um, maybe I might do more wild area stuff in between episodes. Um, this episode ending in about 18 to 20 minutes. Um, yeah, so... <clears throat> I now have the completed amulet. All Pokemon will listen to my requests, and I can catch Pokemon of any level. Nice. I like the symbol on the background. That's cool, or on the back of it. That's cool. I don't know how it got there and how there's no like seams between the individual parts on the back, but whatever. Maybe maybe that back got snapped in there 
um, after Raihan put his individual piece in to symbolize that it's the complete amulet or something. Yeah. Look at that smug bastard. He just won the gym challenge. Uh, I'm very excited. Um, I've never been this excited to just just straight up just beat the last gym before. Um, except maybe the last time there was a dragon gym in one of the games. Uh, what was her name? Claire? She was she was a pain in the butt. Hello. Say nice things about me. Maybe an item that could extend weather effects? Oh, uh, she's um, strategizing, I guess? Say something nice about me. Great job, that was a good match. Uh, not you. I was watching on the telly, what a match. You are watching on the telly from here? I'm confused. Say something nice about me. Buzzer, uh, you, say something nice about me. You completed the gym challenge. You gotta keep winning, challenger hero. Ah, this is so fun. This game is so much fun, I like it a lot. Uh, you say something. Oh, he's a gentleman in the gym challenge. That's kind of cool. Raihan's Duraladon is steel type, too. Uh, what am I doing wrong? Um, I don't know. You beat Raihan? Just like Leon? Yep. This, this game's so... Oh, cutscene. This game's so hype. Hey, it's my girls! Well, my girl and then that lady who... I swear is is uh, insulting me with every second thing that she says to me. Hey there, hero! You gave Raihan a good thrashing, and that means you've completed the gym challenge! Congratulations from the bottom of my heart. And I really wish we could go celebrate, and I think there's some things we should talk over. Yeah, okay. As I said before, man, you could read the phone book and I'd enjoy it. That light that covered Hammerlock, uh, it was just like the darkest day. And where it said that giant Pokemon went on a rampage and almost destroyed the entire Galar region. But just the Galar region for some reason. It certainly seems to be that way, my dear. As you know, we Dynamax our Pokemon today using the energy from wishing stars that have fallen to us. But we still don't know how to fully control the energy behind Dynamaxing and how the two heroes managed to do so. Okay, so they've been discussing things that are um, on the same page about the two heroes and stuff. In fact, we're not even sure who or what the two heroes actually were. The legendary sword and shield. Sonia, my dearest, my lab coat is now yours. Are you sure, Gran? I still haven't finished the work you assigned me. I think this... I think of this as something to help you finish that work. Ah. Oh. oh, I'm so proud of her. She looks so good. Professor Sonia. Yeah. And the two heroes that protected Galar, or the Galar region from the darkest day, and the legend of the sword and shield you just mentioned. It's up to you to figure out the truth behind it all. I know, Gran. I'll do what I can. Uh, you or Hop could be the one to take down Leon, and I don't want to miss that. Uh, not to worry, you can count on me to take care of everything. You just focus on getting to Winden. Go on, head to the station, or you'll miss your train. Okay, so that's what the train station there is for. You did it, you got the Dragon Badge. Next is Winden, time for the big event. Yeah. I saw your match at the stadium, it was incredible. What a match, the best battle of this year. Uh, I agree, it was pretty freaking great. Ah, I'm so excited about this, this is so much fun. Zappy Bike. Hey, there's more people. Oh, that's the wrong button. There's more people, it's sending me off. Yeah. I will... I will have more excellent battles for you guys. Oh, this is so cool. Alright, can I... Wait up, hero, I'm coming too. I had Raihan beat in no time. Yeah, you beat him quick, jeez. And once I got my head on straight and stopped, doubting every decision I made, that is. <laughs> and you never stop nattering on through the entire battle. You're pretty different from the champion in that. But your strength is genuine. It's proven by the dragon badge you won from me. Uh, you came at me with all the force of a raging storm, and even I was blown away. Losing up, you two. Got your way through the Champion Cup tournament to phase Leon. Uh, one of you ought to. I reckon I'm still the favorite to win, and I'm up against my true rival hero. So uh, I'll ring out every last thing I learned during my battle with you, Ryan, to beat him. So get a move on, hero. The train's waiting. Yep. Look, Ryan looks so proud. 
he's a cool guy. Like you could tell he was disappointed that he lost, but he's still really proud of us. And that that's he's a good good person, and I like his character. And and this is just this is basically a repeat of that first train ride we took together. That's this is very cool. A nice bookend. We are finally headed for Wyndham. There's a lot I want to check out there. Uh, there's that big tower and the monorail and Wyndham Stadium, uh, where the whole of Galar, no, the whole world is going to be watching us. Uh, you get it, right? You and me are going to make our match there the greatest match that ever was. Alright. And we're here. There's snow falling outside. You sell me things, right? Sell me things. Um, thing seller person. Uh, what do we got? Uh, pretty good stuff. Now that I'm super concerned with, though, at the moment. Those full restores are nice. I'm actually going to take a few of those. Um, ten of them, maybe. I don't know why I'm being careful with money. I have so much money. Uh, now I'm good. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Beautiful. Now that we're now we're like the furthest north we can be. Yeah, so this is Route 10. It's like a wall made out of snow. Bet there'll be ice-type Pokemon crawling out of the woodwork in a place like this. Come on, hero. Reckon we'll be able to train ourselves up uh, to new heights here before the Champion Cup starts. I believe in myself and the Pokemon on my team, and I know we'll get loads stronger. So I'm off. See you in Winden, mate! Yeah. And I was right, there's something back here. Just X attacks. Literally couldn't care less. That's a Mr. Mime. A glary Mr. Mime. Hello. I'll battle you. You seem to really want to battle me. Ah, oh, it's so weird looking. It's almost more weird looking than the regular one. Um. I also don't know this thing's typing. Like, at all. Earthquake? Freeze drive. Is it ice type? That's weird. That's really weird. Did a lot. I'm buffeted by hail. That sucks. I'm just gonna try the dusk ball. I don't even freaking care. I just kind of want one, you know? Because Mr. Mine was such a rare Pokemon back in Gen 1. And now we've got this one and it's just walking around in the grass. And I got it. Nice. Beautiful, actually. Okay, cool. Um, I could probably make it at least part of the way down the route this episode. Uh, let's see what his entry says. Ice and Psychic. So it's like... I mean, Mr. Mime and Jinx have always been compared to each other because they were the, like, human-y lo looking ones from Gen 1. So he's basically just a Jinx now. All right. Uh, it's it's talent is tap dancing. That's weird. It's it's a mime. Why is the talent tap dancing? It can also manipulate temperatures to create a floor of ice. That's cool. Uh, with which this Pokemon can kick up to use as a barrier. So it still has the same barrier gimmick as the old Mr. Mime, but it executes it differently. I like that. That's neat. Uh, no, because I'm never gonna look at this thing again now that I've caught one. Um, let's heal up. My poor Gyarados that just got wrecked by a frickin' Mr. Mime. And it's not perfect, but it's not bad either. I'm actually gonna find a different item for Gyarados to use. I could use King's Rock, so I'll uh, flinch the opponent every so often. Let's go with that. I'm also gonna go over here. Um... Dixie can learn Snarl, oh, that's interesting. And of course, Atticus can. Um, breaking Swipe cannot be learned by any of my guys. I was hoping Worthwhile could learn it. That would have been fun. Um, real quick, I'm actually going to go and get Dreadnought out of the PC and see if I could teach it Rock Slide. And I can. And that is better than Rock Tomb. So I will teach it to it instead of Rock Tomb. Beautiful. I mean, it's not super important that I do that, but still. Alright, um, I've still got some more 
experience candies, but I'm not, not going to use them right now. Um, I would like to bring some of my auxiliary guys into the finals somewhere, but I'm not really sure where or how I'm going to do that yet. So we'll just play it by ear as we go. Um, I shall surprise save. Hey, battle me. So this Mr. Mime will leave me alone. You have an injured Pokemon? I'm a doctor. Yeah, I don't trust guys who walk up to me on the street and say they're doctors. Um, I'm actually going to beat the crap out of you and make you go away. If that's alright. Alright, worthwhile. You can do this. Let's go. I've had you since basically the beginning of the game when you were that weak little Magikarp. I know I've been giving you a lot of crap lately because uh, you've been losing a lot, but I believe in you. Let's beat this Gardevoir and and start over. Beat this Gardevoir and start over. And from now on, you're going to be my ace Pokemon again like you used to be, alright? Did a good job. I mean, Gardevoir is really flimsy, so that's not really unexpected. But still, it's, it's a pretty powerful Pokemon. Why would a doctor have a Gardevoir, though? That's kind of weird. Have I fought a hiker before? Steelix. Interesting. Snakey Boy versus Snakey Boy. Yeah. Uh, earthquake. Soften it up. Hit it with a stab. Let's go. Boom. Great job, Worthwhile. You're doing great. Can't believe I'm so invested in a Pokemon doing a better job battling other Pokemon in a video game. Mudsdale, that should be very easy for me to beat. Such a cool looking Pokemon, I love it a lot. Clydesdales are just cool in general. Hit it. It did not get knocked out. It doesn't have stamina though, which is interesting. Yeah. My Gyarados is very suited to beating a Mudsdale, actually. Nice, and Lance levels up. Breaks 50. Got three guys at 50 or above now. Very nice. It's over here. Go away, Mr. Mime. Litter oh, that's an Obama Um, Go away, please. I cannot slip behind that guy. I was thinking maybe I could. Oh, now I can. I'll just battle him anyway. It doesn't matter. I get more nervous about battles than work. Then why are you out here on what equates to Victory Road battling people instead of not being here? And I kind of forgot I was that hurt. So it might actually knock me out here. Or it'll use a really bad move and I'll knock it out immediately after. Alright, sure. Yeah. Yeah, Dixie should be good against this thing. Let's... Drum beating? Yeah, okay, good. Claydol looks big and intimidating, but it's actually... kind of lackluster, all things considered. When I do business, I'm called a businessman. So when I battle, should I be called a battle man? Literally, no. You, you, when you battle, you're called a Pokemon trainer. I'm gonna heal up. Literally avoiding using my full restores. It's not much of a variety of Pokemon through here. That's kind of annoying. Hey, battle me. Uh, do you know the old legend that says that Galar is doomed to Corviknight ever disappear? No. Do you actually have a Corviknight? Are you going to be the first of these caddies to actually have a Corviknight? Yeah, okay, cool. Um, yeah, yeah. I probably don't have a good answer to this thing. Probably just going to Aqua Tail and hope it knocks it out. I'm getting kind of low on Aqua Tails, though. Good thing I still have... I think I still have a Lapaberry. I'm going to try to get into town before this episode's over. 
Yeah, okay, I think we're okay. I'm just trying to save Aqua Tails at this point. So I have the other Lapidary, I just don't want to use it unless I absolutely have to. At least I think I have the other Lapidary. Four guys above 50. So we're in Thrash, I don't care, my moveset's pretty good. Alright, what do you have next? Another Corviknight, probably? Oh no, a Flygon. I will definitely not switch. I can handle a Flygon easily. Yeah. Alright, so I beat him. I actually don't know much about the old Corviknight legend. You probably shouldn't be talking about it like you know a bunch about it. Seems kind of irresponsible, man. I'm not seeing any items around here. That's a Cub Chew. Which I don't care. Uh, battle me, postman. You're gonna have a deli bird, aren't you? Oh well, it doesn't matter. Uh, no, a Pelipper. That's odd. And not a good matchup for me. How many Pokemon does this guy have? Oh, dear God. At least it's not Hail. Um... Two. Maybe the other one's a deli bird. Uh, Ice Fang, I guess. Even though Aqua Tail would get stabbed and powered up from the. Um, interesting. Aqua Tail would get stabbed and boosted from the rain. Let's see if it does more than Ice Fang with all that. Assuming I survive this. I mean, Pelipper's defensive more than it is offensive. I don't even know why I'm worried. Yeah, that did a lot more. Okay. Now another Ice Fang should finish it. Oh, but it used Roost. That sucks, which means now the Ice Fang's gonna do less. I should probably just go into Atticus instead of trying to grind my way through this. Episode's gonna run a little long. Because as I said before, I am trying to get into town before it's over. <clears throat> Yeah, that did next to nothing. Let's, uh... Yeah, yeah, I'll be faster than it for sure now. And it'll have its flying typing back now, so this is quite effective. Not bad. I mean, I probably could have beaten that Pelipper with my Gyarados. I just would have used way more moves than I needed to to do that. Does the hail come back? Yeah, okay. That makes sense that it would. What else do you have? A deli bird? If it's deli bird, then this match is already over. No, it's a knocked out. Interesting. It's a British postman with an owl Pokemon as its Pokemon. That makes a lot of sense. Honestly. Uh, Thunderfang, beat it, please, quickly. Beautiful. Atticus, you're great. Uh, no, no, no. No, Sneasel, go away, please. That's, uh, Veridic. There's an item. Give me the item, please. Thank you. Uh, PP up, that's nice. Hello, battle me. There's another guy right there. Um, well, ha, Pokemon Trainer, what should I do? I don't really want to battle. Don't battle me, then. Um, okay, you're gonna. That's kind of annoying. Um, I'll battle these last couple of guys. Um, it looks like this is the final stretch, right? If, it does, if, it, if I get a little higher up and it doesn't look like it is, though, I'll stop the episode here. Ugh, this takes so friggin' long. What's your next one? Somebody else who benefits from the sand or just a random other Pokemon? Let's find out. Ride on. No, I'll stay out against a ride on. It should outspeed it, and I will use an Aqua Tail on it, which should knock it out. Yeah. All right. Good. Glen. Again, would not peg this guy as a Glen. Oh. Okay. I expected something else for Darmanitan. A phalanx. Um, okay, so switching to Unkindness was the right call then. Because Unkindness should be able to handle the Phalanx pretty 
easily to drill peck it. Let's go. Nice. Finish this thing off quick. Yeah. I'm kind of kind of a beast. Let's go. And if we don't get to the town right after this, I'm just gonna end the episode. I didn't read what they said either, because I, I frankly don't care. Jillian and Cam. Cam is, I guess, quite the appropriate name for him, at least. This is not a great matchup. At all, actually. I'll go for Kling Kling, though, because it should be able to take more hits. Alright, never mind. I, I would expect an Earthquake to take out a Helio... What is this thing called? Heliolisk is the first one, right? What are you called? No, Heliolisk. Okay. Oh, that's not good. It, mm. For some reason, I didn't consider that that thing's electric type. Uh, uh, Atticus? Save me, please. I like that Atticus barks. That his cry is literally just a bark. Get it. Nice. Drum beating hits really hard. I mean, it helps they have, like, the Miracle Seed and stuff on, I guess. And... Hail. All this weather is really drawing out the length of these battles. It's very frustrating. Let's go, come on, and Neuvern, okay. This this shouldn't be a problem at all. Um, I can Thunderfang and Dragon, right? Just drum beating, just hit it with the hardest thing again. For some reason I was thinking it was psychic for a second, I don't know why. Tailwind, that's mildly annoying. Come on, finish it off, please. Ugh, alright, that's frustrating, but it's not awful. The hail didn't take it out, which kind of sucks, but it's alright. It's gonna go first automatically because of the tailwind, but. It's not going to be able to knock out either one of my guys with just one attack. That's not going to happen. Yeah, okay. Dodged anyway. Nice. Okay, good. It's a very cool looking Pokemon Noiver, and I like it a lot. And beat them. What strength? I'm gonna loss for words. Nice work, everyone. I lost, but it's alright. I was able to assess your strength. Got 9400 Pokey. That's pretty good. Alright, are we there yet? Looks like we're getting there. Yeah, there it is. Let's get there quick. Walk through this gate. This is a big uh, scenic road. Suddenly very not snowy. Alright. Hey, Hop's magically here. This is cool. This is this is definitely London. This is definitely based on London. Look at this. Oh, look at the phone booth. And Big Ben. Oh, this is all very cool. And then there's the London Eye. Oh, this is fantastic. Very neat looking town. And a Corviknight. And uh, Corvus Squire and Rookies. All right, wind in the city. This is the place where I become a legend at last. Uh, you get it, don't you, mate? After all, I'm about to become the new champion of the Galar region. I mean, you're still not, but you you keep thinking that. Um, you're starting to endear yourself to me. And that's it. I'm heading straight for Winden Stadium. Don't waste too much time, hero. You should head there yourself. I'm actually gonna explore the town first. But I'm gonna do that 
next episode, which means next recording session. Um, in the meantime, I'm probably going to head to that Pokemon Center right over there and get healed up. But uh, this is where I leave you guys. I'm very psyched. We're coming up to the end game. These little kids just running around unsupervised. It's weirding me out. Um, we're coming up with the end game. I hope you guys are as psyched for it as I am. And I will talk to you all later.